first guests tonight are two very talented actors who are good friends on screen and off screen. They play superheroes in the new movie Thunder Force. It premieres next Friday on Netflix. Please welcome Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, Jimmy. Now, listen, if you're, if you're allegedly such good friends, why aren't you together? Why are you separating? It, this is when we talk about our feud. I see. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's start one right now. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm Wolf Blitzer in the Situation Room right now. Uh, Melissa, you are in uh, Australia, right? Yeah, I'm in Australia up by Byron Bay. And how are things there? I heard they don't even have the virus in Australia. Is that true? You know, we haven't. I've been here like nine months, and I'm almost, I feel guilty saying it, but I'm in, it's been completely COVID-free. Um, there's just been a few cases, literally like this week, and like they shut everything down, became hotspots, but we're talking about like four cases. Miraculous. It got, it got out of Brisbane, but everybody shut down everything. Like the second one case happened, it was like, shut it all down. And then they'll, you know, and they track everything like within within minutes. So you're saying they're better than we and are. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but we we suck. <laughs> and Octavia, you're stuck back here with us, right? Yeah, I'm in the land of COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long have you known each other? 25 God, years. Over. Yeah. 25 years. Like 25. And how often do you actually see each other? Well. When we're home, a yeah. lot, but a the lot. problem is like for a while, it was seeming weird. We were literally doing this like, as I, and we live in the, like we're neighbors. Mm -hmm. And as I was coming home, I'm like, I'm gonna be home Saturday. And she's like, I'm leaving Friday night. <laughs> like, it was like someone was planning specifically to keep us apart. So getting to like finally work together was like a dream. Cause I'm like, I haven't had her for three months in at one time in like ever. And Octavia, you said your neighbors, like how close neighbors are you? Are you like right down the block from each other? Well, we used to be, if I sit in my backyard and threw a pecan, I could hit her house. Um. <laughs> Did you do that a lot? Were there pecans flying over? That's <laughs> that's why I moved. That's why, that's why I had to move. <laughs> and then, oh, so then you moved, Melissa, and then Octavia, you moved, you followed Melissa into her neighborhood? <laughs> I, I moved to where she used to live, and then now I, it's a three-minute drive. I see. I, so did you, like, were you, like, potting together or whatever? Well, I, I guess, Melissa, you've been gone most of the time, huh? I've been gone a bunch, but we would, she would bring, Octavia would bring over her little chair and come in the gate with her drink. And we would like, you know, we'd have our, we'd have our own snacks and we'd have cocktails in the driveway. And then at a certain, at a certain point, it would, it would end. Am I right? <laughs> well, we'd have to go to the bathroom, so. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> you let nature decide when the party was over. <laughs> yeah. I like the yeah. idea of a nature You'd wander down the street with a cocktail in your hand, Octavia? Well, it was, it was uh, you know, uh, uh, sealed. Sealed, you know, okay. Posed. Not really a cocktail, uh, 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 mocktail. I, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, when she drinks, she drinks a weird thing that she likes to call sangria, which it's not. What is and it? It's Diet it Coke. It's, called, it's an OT, because it's for Octavia Timber. But it's, what is it? It's cheap red wine, specifically. Yes. yes. Diet Coke, any mm. fruit in the house, and a splash of, of, of soda water. It's not delicious. I love it, but it's not delicious. <laughs> you're saying you're able to get that all sealed up, huh? How about that? <laughs> Octavia, have you been going to the house while Melissa has been in Australia? Well, when Melissa's not in town, I get to spend some time, you know, with her parents. Oh, right, Melissa, so. your mom and dad come like for part of the year every year, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're there for a big part of the year, which I love. It is sometimes awkward though, because there's times where like, I'll call my, like if I'm not working that day, I'll call my dad and he's like, oh, we just had the most wonderful breakfast with Octavia. I'm like, <laughs> I'm 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 four houses away. Did you think about calling me? And he's like, I did not. I didn't do it. 
I was like, Dad! And my mom's like, she was wonderful. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you talk about Melissa the whole time? What do you talk about with Melissa's parents? We just catch up. You know, they, uh, they're such amazing people. We catch up. We talk about Melissa and Margie when they were kids and just all kinds of good stories. I, they tell me about, you know, what, how they grew up. It was just, we had a lot of fun. I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, you know, today, I know, Melissa, maybe it's tomorrow where you are, but it's April Fool's Day here. Uh, I assume that that goes on in Australia. Did either of you uh, do or suffer anything foolish today? <laughs> well, yes, but it wasn't April Fool's Not related. <laughs> it's, just, it, it's just my own shame spiral. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Because, I, Melissa, I know you did something to your friend Octavia during the shooting of this movie, Thunder Force, that... Now, before we see this, tell us what you did. <laughs> okay, so we were our, like, you know, we're like, okay, we're superheroes, we need a super cool car. Out comes, so they, we pick this purple Lamborghini. It's completely ridiculous. And then we were like, okay, here's the action thing, we're gonna get in it. Well, neither one of us has ever been in a Lamborghini. So when we finally went to like jump in and like peel out in it, we realized it's like three and a half inches off the ground and you have to go in on an angle, like like you have to stiffen your body and go in like a corpse. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so I may have, when we were shooting it for the first time, I had the transpo guys lower her seat even more. <laughs> So it's literally like she's trying to get in in her super suit and it's like it's like a quarter of an inch off the ground but she's got to lay back while she slides in. Fortunately. And then, could, and then she couldn't get out. She well, let's get out. Let's take a look at that and enjoy together. Here we go. Oh lord. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> Octavia, well, I don't know how. What will you retaliate for this? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bide my time. She's too good. She's yeah. too good. <laughs> Maybe you seduce Melissa's father when you're over the house and like, and destroy her parents' marriage. You know, that could be fun. No. <laughs> Is that too much? Okay, that you know what I always go too far. Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer are with us. Uh, their movie's called Thunder Force. We'll be right back to take a look at that. Here we go. Hammer, it is time to go on the offensive. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you doing? I'm gonna kangaroo his ass. I don't think that's a good idea. I know, it's a great idea. Crab, we got a situation here. Handle it, Kenny. Get me. That went better than I thought. And that is Melissa McCarthy, Octavia Spencer, Ben Falcone, and Jason Bateman in Thunder Force, which premieres a week from tomorrow on Netflix. Um, well, I have a couple of questions. First of all, for those who don't know, uh, Melissa, Ben Falcone, who is holding the gun, is your husband. Is it more fun to fight yes. with him in the movies than in real life? <laughs> Yeah, because we don't, I do, usually don't uh, push off of him and go through the ceiling often at home. Yeah, I, and every time he's like, every time he pitches something, I'm like, oh, what, what if you're the guy that I punch? And he's yeah. like, why is that always the request? And I don't mean it in that way, but he went through everything we've done together. He goes, every time, there's six different people and you, I'm always like, oh, what if you're Bob, who I punch right in the gut? <laughs> now, Jason Bateman, is, uh, well, we couldn't see it in that clip, but we have a still photograph, I believe, and Jason has crab claws for arms. As you do. Did Jason know As that when he signed on for this film that he would have crab claws for arms? I think that, for, first of all, when Ben wrote it, he was like, oh, I'm gonna make Bateman wear big crab arms. <laughs> it was just, the entire thing was just to screw with Bateman. And then he kept saying, he goes, <clears throat> He was like, I'm sure Netflix, he was waiting, even when they're like, hey, we want to do this. We're like, amazing. And then we both just sat there and Ben's like, we thought they were going to say, you've got to lose the crab thing. That's crazy. And then every call after that, they were like, are you not going to tell us to lose the crab things? And then the next thing, like we were in a model meeting 
and they were like carving these things. That first day when Bateman walked in, it was like, Ben's like, I can quit the business now. I have your arms stuffed into sweaty crab legs. I'm like, wow. <laughs> 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 and and the crab legs themselves, are, they look very uncomfortable. I hope they were. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they really were. He would try to, it's like, well, you know Bateman so well, but like it was when he was casually being like, hey, what's up? And like doing stuff like that. that I was like... <laughs> and he, we have something where I do, I, uh, I perhaps end up uh, kissing or licking a part of it. And they were really hard and they had those like nodulars. And at one point he really got me and he just loved it. Oh, he that did. Son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> so Ben was the big winner really in this prank. He got everybody. <laughs> so yeah, he got everybody. The premise of the movie is your, well, it starts out your, your young women, your kids, friends, and then you, well, it's based on a true story. So I'll let you, Octavia, tell us, tell us a little bit about the plot here. <laughs> Well, it's a, a world where supervillains reign supreme. And uh, these two uh, childhood friends find themselves reunited when one of them uh, comes up with the, the technology that gives them superpowers. That gives them superpowers. Yes. And then you guys get to, because you're making this movie yourselves, unlike most comic book movies, do you get to decide what your costumes are going to look like? Yes, which was both terrifying and exciting. Yeah, I and, bet. Um, <clears throat> we, because we went to you know you go we went to Ironhead, which is like that's the place that's where like they're they're unbelievable what they do and other people can't do it. It's not just like a normal thing for like a seamstress or a tailor to even make. And so you have to go in there and it's very intimidating. You have to go in and have like you know it's like five thousand cameras and they body scan you. Yeah, but it takes. It takes two seconds to do. You walk in, stand there, and it's done. I am technology poison. Like, I'm asked to leave the room when people's laptops don't work. And I walked in, and as my foot went over the threshold, I heard somebody go, oh, my God! Oh, my God! And I was like, "What? what's happening? They're like, the whole machine has shut down. It's never happened before in eight years. And they're like, you walked into the room, and the whole machine went, boom! <laughs> so I'm standing there, just get a visual of, I'm in a nude Capizio, which, <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> it's a bunch of people, yeah, enjoy that. Uh, it's a bunch of people I don't know, and they're like, we're going to have to shoot it manually. Oh, which great. Which means some, some poor girl has to come out and be like, ch 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 and it takes 35 minutes as I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh, great, how, how are those photos going? <laughs> but I, it took like 35, 40 minutes instead of like two Well, seconds. this is what happens to people who lower their friends' car seats and who put their <laughs> other friends in crab arms. It's called karma. Sometimes karma happens before the crimes. Uh, also, since it is, I just want to say, since it is April Fool's Day, Octavia, can we get just one more wide shot of Octavia's room? What we're going to do is we're going to digitally remove that photograph of President Obama behind you and replace it with a Donald Trump. And then we're not going to explain oh, it to anybody. What? Yeah. Yes, we're going to. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, but it's April Fool's Day. Thunder Force premieres a week from tomorrow on Netflix. Thank you, ladies. Octavia Spencer and Melissa McCarthy will be right back with Nassim Petra. <laughs> If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Oh, oh.